in this section we are going to learn about the word programming in this series we are going to learn about javascript and in our previous session we have already seen what is javascript it is nothing but it is a high level programming language now what is this programming and what is this high level language most people are not aware of this or they just read javascript is a high level programming language but many of us are not aware of that particular keywords so in this session we are going to learn all the keywords basic keywords which might be asked in interviews as well so now here let me just take okay here i am just having one computer as we all know we all use machines we have laptops we have desktops we have mobiles okay these are the machines these are not humans these are non living things so for that they are not going to work by themselves what they are going to do we when person gives instructions okay we are the persons who give the instructions okay i just tell the computer to add 2 plus 3 then the computer is going to give me the result as 5 again if i ask computer the same thing it is going to give me the same result 2 plus 3 will always be equal to 5 but it is a machine to work on that we have to give instructions to computer it is not going to work by itself if i tell to calculate any number if i tell to divide any number multiply any number if i tell to search this one whatever it is whatever commands i give based on that the computer is going to run and it is going to give me the result okay and these are the person and the instructions which we give to computer is nothing but it is called as program let me just write here the instructions which we give to computer it is nothing but program and the person who writes this program is called as programmer and this is our computer machine okay this is very simple when we give instructions to computer only then it is going to work basically computer is a dumb machine by itself it cannot do any work by itself it cannot order food for you by itself it cannot recharge for you by itself it cannot switch on the laptop by itself okay it cannot do any work by itself we have to give instructions and based on that instruction it is going to work okay it is why i am calling this as a dumb machine because it is just going to make our work faster but not in a smart way whatever instructions we give accordingly it is just going to perform and this instruction is nothing but program and the person who writes program is called as programmer now suppose if you have read some book or if you are reading some book what we tell this person is reading book this person is writing something this person is cooking so in the same way what this programmer is doing if he writes program he is programming so this is where the programming comes person who writes program is called as programmer now if you have used okay if you have laptop you would have seen there are plenty and plenty of applications and to run those application we are having plenty and plenty of programs written for that one some programs will manage the hardware system of the computer so those are called as system programs okay for computer what programs are required they manages the computer hardware so they are called as system programs in the same way inside computer we have keep note we have notepad we have plenty and plenty of applications so to run that applications also programs are written and those programs are called as application programs okay basically there are system programs there are application programs what system programs it is going to do it is going to manage the hardware of the computer hardware is nothing but the parts of the computer and application programs are whatever applications are present inside the computer to manage that one or to run that one we have this application programs
now maybe in future you are not liking any programming okay if you are not you are messed up with the programming and you don't want to do you can create your own programming language and you can write it okay it's not like you have to dependent on that but you have to study a lot to create one programming language okay it is not simple as that okay when we think we want to create any programming language we have to do lot of studies and we have to build it but by yourself also you can create one programming language and you can control the computer now whatever i have spoken to you i am just speaking in english so that we are able to interact and also you are able to understand whatever i am telling so in the same way when i give instructions to computer it is not simple i cannot directly talk to computer I, so i cannot interact with computer so to interact with computer we should understand what computer actually knows now suppose if i talk with person who doesn't know english he knows only kannada then if i keep on speaking in english that person will never understand what i am telling and if i don't know kannada and if that person is speaking i will not understand what he is trying to tell me so we should be having a proper communication to communicate with computer and when it comes to computer it is a machine okay it is complete non living thing so computer cannot understand this english language now whatever i have written here computer cannot understand this one computer can understand only zeros and ones it can understand only zeros and ones language and this is nothing but binary numbers zero is zero indicates false and one indicates true now computer is designed in such a way that it can understand the complex patterns of zeros and ones it can understand whatever it is it is going to understand this one and accordingly it is going to generate the result okay these are called as binary numbers zeros and ones are called as binary numbers let me just write here binary numbers okay zeros and ones these are binary numbers and basically when we talk to computer using this binary numbers it is called as binary language binary language is also known as machine language ml machine language machine language basically means we are directly interacting with the computer using this zeros and ones and we are writing the programs and we are getting the result now let me just come here now let us see about programming languages now what are the languages present so that we can interact with the computer first is our machine language which i have already told you binary numbers zeros and ones and as it is directly interacting with the computer it will execute very very faster but when it comes to learning this machine language maybe it is little bit difficult because when you start with this one you have to learn everything about computer you have to learn each and every architecture of computer every bit of computer because you are directly interacting with the computer so you have to understand each and everything then it will be very easy for you to learn machine language then next we have assembly language as it is little bit difficult to learn machine language and for different architecture we have to write the different programs so for that to avoid that we are having assembly language assembly language is nothing but it is little human readable now suppose if i just want to subtract i can just write here subtract sub and i can just subtract 2 comma 4 it is human readable okay you can see, you can easily understand we are just going to subtract this 2 comma 4 2 by 4 we are just going to subtract 2 by 4 but this is human readable as i told you computer can only understand zeros and ones so this computer will not understand so to convert this into machine language we should be using assembler we have this assembler let me just write here using this assembler we can convert this human readable format into machine language then computer will take that and it will execute this okay we have machine language we have assembly language 
but this is also a little bit difficult. I am not telling we cannot learn. I am just telling it will take some time to learn this particular languages because we are directly interacting with computer and this also okay this computer this entire thing this entire thing using assembler we can just convert into zeros and ones and we can execute a result so more easier okay not little this is little human readable so third we are having this high level programming language high level programming languages are nothing but which are completely programmed okay we will not like only some part will be human readable some part will be binary numbers it will not be like that it is completely programmed and high languages are nothing but our javascript is high level programming language java is high level programming language high level programming language we will write the programs and using one program that is compiler and interpreter we will convert that into machine language and will execute a result okay we have middle level languages as well which will be having all the properties of ml we have we have properties of a features of al and also features of high level language these are called as middle level languages and some of the middle level languages are we have c we have c++ all these are middle level languages now when it comes to high level languages as you all know we write programming we just write here var x is equal to 10 uh, we will write we will be writing here while loops we can write for loops whatever it is we are just going to do programming but as i told you computer will only understand zeros and ones if we write this if we write this one computer is not going to understand so again use this language we have to convert into zeros and ones only then this will be executed so for that we are having compiler we are having compiler and we are having interpreter uh, now let's understand what is this compiler and interpreter now we are having one high level language the high level languages which use compiler the high level languages which use compiler and after that they are just going to execute the result and the result will be executed okay the high level languages which use compiler what it is going to do whatever code i have written using high level programming language using javascript or java whatever it is it is going to take the entire code source code and it is it is going to convert into machine level language and it is just going to execute and this process is called as compilation process compilation process Okay, again i'm just going to tell you whatever high language we have suppose we have javascript let us take an example of javascript whatever code i have written in javascript entire source code will be taken by this compiler then it is going to convert into machine language and it will generate the result and this process is called as compilation process in the same way we have this interpreter let me just write here we have interpreter and after executing this one we will take let me just write one uh, bring this computer here okay whatever code we have written using this high level language if they are using interpreter what it is going to do it is going to take the first line first line it is going to take it will convert into machine language it will execute then again second line machine language it is going to convert then execute then third line machine language it will ex convert and execute then again okay line by line it is just going to convert and then it is going to execute some of the examples which use interpreter are we have python python uses interpreter for single single line it is just going to convert and it is going to execute okay i hope you understood what is programming what is high level language what is machine language assembly language but most people think uh, if we are if we directly have this high level language why should we learn machine language 
in today's world machine learning is also having a great 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 opportunities and you will be having higher package if you learn but you have to decide it completely depends on your choice where you have to go what you have to do in your future accordingly you can select the languages and you can learn okay this is all about programming a person who writes program is called as programmer and whatever programs the person writes it has to be passed to computer to execute the result computer will only understand binary numbers whatever language we use at the end it should be converting into machine language and it should generate the result okay we have seen about machine level language which will directly interact with the computer we have assembly level language which use assembler to convert that human readable into machine language we have high level languages in that we have compiler and interpreter compiler will take the entire source code and it will convert to machine language interpreter will take line by line it will convert into machine language and execute using compiler the process is called as compilation process using interpreter the process is called as interpretation process this is all about programming i hope you understood this one in next session we are going to see what are the ways to execute javascript